Application forms for assistance under the post-hurricane burial incentives package phase two are now in possession of the Burial Economic Support Secretariat in Karaku and will be immediately made available to residents. They can be collected at the Karaku Multipurpose Center from where the Ministry of Karaku and Petit Marketing Affairs is operating. The program is designed to support reconstruction of physical infrastructure and business reactivation in the aftermath of the hurricane, which devastated the sister islands in early July. As part of the program for local purchases to support the reconstruction of physical infrastructure, there is a 100% waiver of VAT on all building materials and for imported supplies, there is a 100% waiver of common external tariff or CET VAT and custom service charge on all building materials. Under business reactivation, there will be a 100% waiver of CET, VAT custom service charge, excise tax, and environmental levy where applicable to businesses on machinery and equipment imported to replace that which was destroyed or damaged by hurricane burial. In terms of the services available, what's covered under the, the the incentive program is um, tax waivers to households, individuals, and um, businesses. Um, for the most part, that's what it entails. So as people seek to reconstruct their buildings, their roof, etc., you are entitled under this this regime to have waivers of the, the VAT if you're purchasing locally or if you're going to import from Trinidad, St. Vincent. Um, some people are going as far away as Miami, wherever. Then you have, um, in addition to the VAT, you have exemption on the CET and the CSC, the, the common external tariff and the custom service charge. Um, the same applies not just to building material, but also to your furnishing, your furniture, um, household appliances, so refrigerators and televisions and freezers, etc. Um, for households and individuals, you're limited to one per item. Um, in this category, so one fridge, one television, um, one washing machine, etc. In Caracol, we do have a number of sort of extended household arrangements where, and I think the same happens in Grenada as well, where, you know, um, the parents might be upstairs and a son or a daughter has a, a, a complete apartment built out in the downstairs or something to that effect. In, in a case like that, consideration will be given to treat it with the situation as if it's um, two independent households. That was Interim Coordinator of the Burial Economic Support Secretariat, Mr. Davon Baker. During an interview with the Government Information Service from Karaku on Thursday, Mr. Baker also explained how the businesses will benefit under the program. For businesses, for example, a, a restaurant might have two or three refrigerators that they lost during the storm. Um, you you cannot treat that in the same way as you would with a household where you expect a single refrigerator. So you, you may, um, the intention is that some discretion is exercised with regards to businesses and um, to, to consider um, providing the waiver for multiple appliances of the same kind. Um, there isn't any cap or established cap on the amount to say three or up to five, but I think as we go along, as we, we see what happens then, um, the adjustments, the necessary adjustments and tweaks would be made to the system to to ensure that what we do is, is reasonable and fair to the people that we intend to serve. Individuals and businesses must submit their application to the Secretariat along with relevant documentation so that they can be processed as quickly as possible. Once the, the forms are in, what would happen is that you would review, will review ensure that we have all the information all the, the supporting material that we need, the next step immediately would be to have the validation process begin. So somebody or, or somebody would go out to the location and, and look at what it, the, is what happen, what it exists on the ground and try to ensure that the request is reasonable for what exists um, and not something that is different from from the situation on the ground. So we try to ground um, ground through the, the whole situation. So the idea is not to make people who are already distressed, more distressed by, by being um, exceedingly stringent and, and and have them going back and forth, you know, over minor stuff. There's room for flexibility. 
but um, we just want to be able to verify that the requests are, are reasonable and, and valid. Um, and once that is done and the approval is granted, oh, I mean, the, bear in mind that the, there might be circumstances where people will be asked to revise some things, but once approval is granted, then the application will be passed on to the Ministry of Finance where we expect that the waiver would be granted and a, a, a document to the same effect will be provided to the applicant. We expect that three days would be a reasonable time for us to have that initial approval on Caracol at the best and uh, another two days to have the waiver granted by the Ministry of Finance. Interim Coordinator of the Burial Economic Support Secretariat, Mr. Davon Baker.